Welcome back, Mounties. Welcome to your show A. And me and Meg put together an ocean feature for a science project. Up next, we have another feature by Rachel, Mounties on the Move. I'm here to talk to you about our Mounties on the Move 5K and Kids Fun Run. Our Fun Run and 5K is this coming Saturday, May 20th, and a registration starts at 8.15, and the event starts at 9 a.m. with our Kids Fun Run, uh, which will be different lengths of races for any um, elementary age students and younger that would like to participate. And at the end of that race, we'll have a playground ball for their completion so they can go home and be uh, physically active some more. And then after that will be our non-competitive 5K uh, run walk. And anyone is welcome, anyone from our community that would like to participate in our community fitness event is welcome to come on out and um, partake in that beautiful day. Uh, the cost for our event is $6 for adults and, and, and kids for the 5K run or walk. And if anyone wants to be any of the kids in the kids' events and stations and fun run would be $3. Uh, the event usually lasts, I would say, somewhere around 10 a.m. But there are lots of different stations for kids who are participating in the event also. Um, so anyone is welcome. Um, if you would like to purchase a t-shirt, we have extras for sale, which are $10 for each. And our t-shirts actually look just like our posters, so this is what will be on the front of the t-shirt. Uh, Mrs. Olmstead is responsible for the Kids Fun Run, and in the past, they have done uh, like first grade and below if they want to run just 100 meters. They would run that, um, and then the next level up is third and fourth grade, run half a lap, and then uh, fifth and sixth grade. 
could run a full lap, but any of the younger kids can run any of the longer lengths that they want to. And it's no additional if they want to run extra. It's just a $3 flat rate if they want to do the kids fun run and um, the 5K. Because uh, anytime we get them out and be more active is always is what we're here for. And then I put together a cinematography video from St. Thomas. And to finish off the show, we have Mr. Gilfoyle class feature with Nicole Keeter and Allie Stoll. Let's go see what's in Mr. Gilfoyle's classroom. All right, welcome to uh, U.S. History B. This week we're uh, taking a look at, and we break it up into sections, uh, Mississippi Burning, which deals with uh, the Civil Rights Movement and Martin Luther King, uh, and a lot of other uh things going on in uh, civil rights, especially the Freedom Summer, where uh, three young men disappeared in Mississippi in 1964. It covers several benchmarks in our chapter, and it is the only movie we watch from start to finish, because I know there's a misconception that's all we do is watch videos and, and social studies, but this one is a must-see, and it kind of opens up the kids' eyes to how bad things were uh, in the South in 1964. So, thank you. U.S. History B, uh, doing a decades paper. Students can choose any decade they want, uh, but they also have to interview uh, somebody who's related that, that they had lived through that decade, and they can choose to do the Civil Rights Movement in the 1960s, so that's where the movie comes in. And uh, I think it'd be wise to do the 1960s because we've talked about it for the last two or three weeks uh, in a History B class. So uh, it's going to be due, we spend four days in the library, four Fridays, and it's going to be due uh, May 26th. And we'll be wrapping it up at the end of the year. And that is what we're currently working on in U.S. History B, the Civil Rights Movement. My favorite broadcasting memory was two years ago I went to MIPA with Greg Fredrickson and Kevin Zlinski. And we forgot a camera battery after Miss Haid specifically said at least five times that morning to not forget a camera battery. And that's all we have for Show A this week. As always, I'm Rachel. And I'm Zach for the last time as your guys' student director. <laughs> this is your Mountie Nation Station.